Hello guys, welcome back to Meep Cat. Welcome back to our growing channel. And today I thought I'd share a website with you guys. It's called Scratch. What you want to do is you want to go up top and delete all this stuff. Boring, boring stuff. And type scratch.mit.edu. Now basically... What Scratch is, it's like a coding website where you're able to make your own games, and it's all free, and it's all kid appropriate. So, today what we're going to be doing is I'm going to be showing you how to make a Five Nights at Freddy's Fun game. So first, what you want to do is you want to make your new project, then get rid of the cat. I know it's cruel. Yeah, but... First up, we want to give the project a name. Now, up here is where you can give the project a name. So, we're going to call this one... No, we're doing one night. One night at Zach. Well, I, just, I was originally going to do five nights, but then I realized how the scratch save game thing works. It doesn't work at all. So, first, make a new sprite, then, so, make a new sprite, then fill it with color. I, um, do whatever color you want your main menu. I want mine to be black. So, now go into vector mode. Uh, yes, I'll leave links in the description below to videos on how to make different FNAF fan characters, but Here's my first one, which is Zack. He's my famous FNAF character. And I'm not just going to be doing the FNAF 1 game. I'm going to be doing, like, FNAF 2, like, with the Withered animatronics and the toy ones, and FNAF 3 and FNAF 4. So, we got that done. I may be wondering, well, how is that the main menu? Well, I'll show you. So, um... Change the font to Donna Gill by pressing this little arrow button and put in a font that says one night uh, at Zach's. One night at Zach's. There we go. Now resize it. Move it over here and now what you want to do is rest in peace meow but you want to eat for your main menu music you want to go into the sounds tab and either click this to upload an mp3 file here to find a file here to just choose a sound from your back cack which I'm gonna do or you could just do this to record a sound. Now I'm going to do the Five Nights at Candy's two main menu music. Uh, okay. Sorry, I can't hear because this is how my recorder works. But go into the backdrops and do when the flag is clicked, and then broadcast new message and call it. No, not start. Title. Like that. And fill the background with color. The color of your main menu. Now, what we're going to be doing is we are going to name this but. No, that's inappropriate. Um, title. Title. So, we got that. And I've seen title show forever. Um, oh, you want to do show go to x0, y0, and do um, set volume to a hundred percent. And forever play sound finds candies extended mp3. So, you got that. Now we want to make a new sprite by pressing this little paintbrush. And we want to make the um, start button. 
So, do the Donna Gale font, make a big black box, and then just call it Start or New Game. I like to call it Start, because it's more obvious. You know, like, why do you, what would even be the purpose of calling it New Game if there's going to be clearly a Continue button? So, I'm saying that. Okay, so we want to resize it so it fits the little thing. In here, you want to drag it there. And when I receive title show, go to X. You don't have to change it to 0Y0 zero because zero, it'll just go to here. And set volume to 100. Make it, um, right click this, duplicate it. And now, what we want to do is we want to add the text, and it'll be those two arrows. We want to click anywhere here, and then select it, bring it over here so it looks like we want to select that. Now do sounds. You can just steal this from me when I share the project. It's going to be like the select sound, like a static sound. Where is it? Select. Go on, need to. There we go. Now grab a forever and put if else in there. Touching mouse pointer. Then switch costume to costume two. Else in the else bar, switch costume to costume one. And also here you want to do the play sound select until done and then wait until not touching mouse pointer. So let's see this. Working pretty good so far. I'd say it's a work in progress. And oh. Yeah, we want to right-click that, duplicate it, get rid of this if, and put an if here, and just do if touching mouse pointer, and don't do an if else, do if, and put an if inside that if, if, um, oh, mouse down, broadcast, start, Start. Okay. When I receive start, hide. Set volume to zero percent. Stop other script and sprite. And with magic, drag it over here and boom. It's now in this sprite without us having to do any coding. Now, right click anywhere here, click clean up, same over here, clean up. Now, let's test it out. Okay, it's pretty good. I like it. So, now what we want to do is we want to make a thumbnail, like a little background for the image. Now, grab out whichever character from the game you want. I'm going to grab out Zayt since he's the main character. And let's make him bigger and bigger and bigger until he is super big. Bigger and eh. um, now we have to close his eyelids by adding this square. Okay, now like that. And now I'm going to add a little clue for the storyline, which I want you th game theories out there to check this out. Okay, I'll give you game theorists out there five seconds to spot it. Five, four, three... Two, one. It's on Zach's face. Try to figure out what that is, because I know, but 
I don't, I can't tell you because I'm the creator of the storyline, and I want you to have theories, not just be like, oh, that's the storyline. Done. No, I want you guys to have actual theories. So now, have to make it so that, and go to X zero Y zero. When the flag is clicked, forever show go to front but in the middle of that show and go to front add a set ghost effect to 100 and so now it should work like this whenever we want to stop the game we just boom just pops back up okay so that's all for this video see you in the next one bye bye